The game Old Man's Journey by Broken Rules came out a few years ago, but I've always known that I wanted to do an emotional intelligence review for it on this channel. It may seem like a simply cute little puzzle game, but it packs a punch that stayed with me for years. There are two ways to analyze a game for how it benefits our well-being, and either method works better for certain kinds of games. With hedonic feel-good games, I look at game mechanics, how the experience of the game feels, and helps us relax or refuel psychological needs. Hedonic games are designed to be played for several hours, if not indefinitely, so it makes sense that we should look at what keeps us playing them and what our prolonged and usually routine play habits do for us. But for narrative-driven, emotional, or eudaimonic games like this, they're meant to be experienced within a few hours and only once or twice to get the full effect of the narrative. Although the game mechanics are still important, our main benefits from playing these games come from the emotional or psychological insights in a narrative, and the experience of playing through it ourselves and relating to it personally, as opposed to passively watching a movie with the same story. And although Old Man's Journey may not win over players with its very simple gameplay, I was completely won over by its emotional gameplay, so to speak. I only had to click and drag here and there and figure out a few puzzles cognitively, but psychologically, Old Man's Journey had me doing some very beneficial emotional gymnastics, exercising my empathy and compassion muscles in new and challenging ways. This game provides us a calm, beautiful, poignant, and deeply compassionate meditation on the very common sorrows we face in love, the consequences of our decisions, and our need for forgiveness. If you haven't played it yet, I highly recommend it. If you've ever struggled with decisions you regret, or forgiving yourself or forgiving others, this story could be a healing experience for you. It only takes between one and two hours, and the rest of this video will contain spoilers that will affect how you experience the game if you watch it before playing, so I really recommend going and playing it now if you can. It may come as no surprise that a video game with an old man as a titular character might have something to tell us about aging or nostalgia. As we help the old man get where he's going, he pauses every so often to sit and remember a pivotal moment in his life as a younger man. These moments are treated with reverence. They are beautiful or sorrowful snapshots that communicate profound feelings of bliss, hope, or regret. If we've become more mindful of the years ticking by, these moments can be quite touching. As we relate to the old man and his memories, we're inspired to think about our own pasts. We, like the old man, miss simpler, sweeter days. We wonder how we let them get by without appreciating them in the moment. This game helps remind us that we too will one day sit, our joints creaking, and remember what it was like to be a 20-year-old with dreams to see the world or fall in love. We're motivated to treat our youth with more care and anticipate the storms to come by enjoying the present moment and the simple pleasures around us more mindfully. Old Man's Journey is about family at its core. Throughout this game, we can relate to each of the characters in the old man's memories. We're the young lovers, hopeful and forward-looking. We're the young man, eager and ambitious. We're the old man, weary and nervous. And we're also the child with memories of sunny days before a storm. Playing Old Man's Journey encourages us to consider the common struggles found in all relationships, romantic and familial. Seeing him reveal his regrets, we won't be able to help thinking about our own families as we discover more about the old man. This can be surprisingly helpful. We're so close to our own family situations that we can miss some important details. By looking at the old man's family, we can have just enough distance that we see what's truly important and not get caught up in the details that usually muddy the waters. Instead, we're reminded of how much we wish we could patch things up and enjoy their company again. The tone and aesthetic of Old Man's Journey is so kind, so loving, that even these heavy subjects discussed in the game feel lighter and easier to shoulder than they feel when we try to think about them on our own. In this way, this game is a helpful guided meditation on the common and inevitable pains found in relationships and family life. When we figured out the old man's story, that he was a father who abandoned his wife and child for a life of seafaring adventure, we might be momentarily at a loss. Perhaps we were once abandoned, or felt emotionally abandoned by a parent. They were absent from our lives in crucial ways, neglecting our needs for affirmation or affection so that they can pay closer attention to themselves. However, after discovering the old man's past, we might feel strangely not angry. 
This game wraps us in warm colors and gentle music. We're swathed in blissful melodies and bittersweet nostalgia. By the time we're told the truth, we are already open to the old man's need for redemption. We find ourselves suddenly the driving, godlike force that can lead this man, a man who behaved as selfishly as we might remember our own heroes behaving, to his redemption. The game, quite cleverly, suddenly has us acting out forgiveness. After all, it is up to us whether to continue playing, leading him onward to his reunion. We could, in theory, quit playing and mercilessly deny the old man his absolution. The large majority of us, charmed by the game's atmosphere and a growing compassion for the old man, will happily help him reach his destiny, even if we had suffered as his wife and daughter suffered. We might still have trouble forgiving our own parents or heroes for their flaws, selfishness, or ill deeds. However, Old Man's Journey offers us some crucial practice in forgiving the penitent and helping them on their journey to reconciliation. After getting so invested in the Old Man's character for the first half of the game, we might have even started to relate to him on a personal level. We might recognize in him and his journey our own mirrored need for forgiveness. Perhaps we abandoned someone, or we treated our parents with bitterness or annoyance. Or maybe we committed some other crime against a loved one that still quietly weighs on our shoulders. In the old man, we recognize the very common but always desperate need for forgiveness from our loved ones. As we help him get back to his family, we're both acting out forgiveness and seeking forgiveness. We get some key practice thinking about forgiveness, both receiving and giving, and the significance of reconciliation. What we find at the end of the road is quite touching. The mother's death at the end, the event acting as the catalyst for the old man's reunion and reconnection with his daughter, offers us a final reminder of our endings and an encouragement to not waste time. This game reminds us that our time with one another is limited. If we, like the old man's daughter, can recognize that our loved ones are no less flawed, confused, or hurt than we are, as becomes most evident when there's a death in the family, we can more easily forgive what poor decisions their flaws, confusion, and pain have caused, within reason. Although this will be different for everyone's situation, and outright forgiveness may not be the best course of action, this game does help us think about these things and at least consider the prospect of forgiving or asking for forgiveness. We can then focus on using the time we have to forgive or to ask forgiveness so that we may enjoy our time together more mindfully and not fall prey to angry or selfish decisions that can harm our loved ones or haunt us in our old age. Old Man's Journey is a singularly therapeutic game that transports you with a kind and gentle hand through some of the most emotionally taxing sorrows of life. It gives us good practice getting to some important emotional destinations with gorgeous sights and sounds to encourage us along the way too. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in more videos about media, mental health and well-being, please go ahead and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please go ahead and leave a comment. I'd love to hear your ideas. Until next time, happy playing.